Hello, my name is Hannah. Welcome to Ingvid. Today we are going to learn about age. How old are you? Hand, what are you doing? Get out of the way. Hi. I don't know how that hand of the hand came in there. That was very strange indeed. I hope she doesn't come back again. Today we're going to learn to talk about age. How old are you? How old am I? To start off, it's kind of a little bit of a rude question. You do not want to just go up to people, especially ladies, and say, Hello, lady, how old are you? Um, ladies don't like to tell people their age. It is an eternal mystery. But if it's your friend or someone that you feel comfortable with and they feel comfortable with you, you can ask them. It's cool. I don't mind myself. I don't care. But some people do, so be careful. So, question. How old are you? These two are wrong. Do not say, I have 23. You have 23 what? You have 23 monkeys? You have 23 armpits? Armpits? No. You do not want to say, my international age is 23. But in Korea, in my Korean age, I'm 21. How old are you? Please be direct and tell me exactly how old you are. Korea is the only country in the world where you have two different ages. It's very confusing to every other person in the world. So it's exclusively for Korea. So when you tell people, tell them your international age, but don't tell them my international age is, what you want to say is, dun dun, I am. That's all. I am 23. I'm not 23, but as an example. You do not need to say years old. This is optional. I can say, I am 23 years old. I don't need to say that. I can just say, I am 23. You cannot say, I am 23 years. You cannot say, I am 23 old. You cannot say, I am 23 monkeys. That's odd. So, all you need to say is, I am 23, or whatever your age is. If you don't want to tell the person exactly how old you are, you can be very general about your age. For example, you can say, I am, we always use I am, not I have, in my early, mid, or late. So, early would be from zero to three, about. Mid would be from three till six, or seven. And late would be from seven till the next generation. So, you can say, I'm in my early teens, which would put you at 13, 14, 15. Your mid-teens, I'm sorry, would be 15, 16, 17. And your late teens would be 18, 19. Then we start early 20s, mid-20s, late 20s. So whatever age you are, you can generalize with people. You can say... I'm in my mid-thirties. And you don't actually have to tell them how old you are. You could even tell them you're in your thirties. You don't even have to use early, mid, or late. It's more of a secret. If you are past your forties, <gasps> I'm not yet, or past your fifties, or past your sixties, it's a good thing to say, I am in my 40s, in my 50s, or in my 60s. Okay, so now we have different categories of talking about age. So the first one is a baby. Now, in most countries, when we talk about the baby, we start counting when the baby comes out. So you can start counting, say your baby is one day, two days, three days, two weeks, two months, etc. I know when I lived in Japan, I would ask a mother, how old is your baby? And they would say, zero. 
Oh, oh okay. That confused me. So what we do is we count by days, weeks, and months. So it's normal for someone to say, my baby is three months old. Three months. We can also say how many weeks old the baby is. Maybe you just had the baby and the baby is one week old. Once it pass, gets past 12 months, some people continue and say 13 months, 14 months, 15 months, 16 months, 17 months. It seems to be a cutoff of a year and a half. People go up to 18 months and then they say one and a half. I don't know why. So. Baby ranges of age from zero, one day, to a toddler. A toddler basically is when the baby is able to stand up and walk around like a baby. This is the fun time. So a toddler probably starts from two years. This is the short form of the word years. To when they become a child. I'm not exactly sure when the cutoff is. There's no rule when the cutoff is, but we're going to say it's two years till four. Maybe around four or five, the children will go to kindergarten. So they've developed, they can walk, they can eat, they can go to the toilet by themselves, maybe. They don't wear diapers. I would guess that once the child is done using diapers, it would become a child. So from toddler to child, and um, would be four till about twelve. A curious thing happens when you become twelve. The next month you become thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. These are called your teens. It starts when you are 13, because just of the numbers, 12 does not have a teen in it, so we've got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. At age 20, you are no longer a teen. Most people would consider you an adult, which depends on your maturity level, I'd imagine. Um, after you hit your teens, you become an adult. After you become about 45 or 50, in your late 40s, early 50s, we have an expression, an idiom that's called, over the hill. You will see a lot of uh, merchandise in party stores that have over the hill. Um, it's usually black and white. Very creepy. Um, this means usually the person's 40 or 50 and their life is over. I'm joking. It just means that they're becoming older and it's a celebration of being old. Once you become over the hill, I guess you start going downhill and you become uh, probably in your 60s, sometimes 60, sometimes 65. You become a senior. Yes. Or, another word for senior is elderly. So senior elderly starts at age 60 or 65, depending on who's saying what. The cool thing about being a senior or an elderly person is discounts. You can get so many discounts on lots of things. You can get discounts for art galleries, I know that in Glasgow, Scotland, elderly people can ride the bus for free anywhere they want to go. Um, lots of stores will offer a 10 or 20% discount to seniors. Once again, the age varies from 60 to 65. Usually over 65, you're in it for the 20% discount. Always check and just say, I'm a senior, can I have a discount? You never know what might happen. After you become a senior and you have all of your discounts, there's a thing that approaches called death. And we have an expression for that. 
It's called one foot in the grave. Now, a grave is the place where they bury dead people. Ooh. Um, you might see something like this. This is a grave, and many of them together are called a graveyard. So you can go to the graveyard or cemetery, and that's where all the dead bodies are. Um, one foot in the grave basically means the person is near death. They are so old that their one foot's in the grave, and they're going to fall into it and die. Okay, so I hope that you have learned how to talk about age. Please always use the verb to be, I am. If you're talking about another person, you can say he or she is, and they and we are. Don't forget to conjugate your to be verb and have a wonderful life.